What's up guys, Sila here with a Never Raid Guide. This is a re-upload from TGen and this guide will show you how to get the 5 Never Raid mounts and the companion pet. So hopefully you haven't seen this video and enjoy. So it's pretty cool in total. Now to do this you will need to be exalted with the Shatari Skyguards to be able to buy the mounts. But to start this grind you don't need to be anything. Just head straight to where I'll show you in a minute and start questing. Simple as. So doing this will get you an achievement, flying high over Skettis, which means you're exalted with the Shatari Skyguards. So we want to come to Terrakar Forest, which is in Outland, and in the southeast zone there'll be a little area called Skettis, and in the north of Skettis there'll be a little camp. Now there's a few dailies here that you can do that will give you rep if you want to do them, go for it. But the guy we want to talk to is Severin. Now he'll ask you to collect some Shadow Dust. At first it'll be a normal quest and then after that it'll be a repeatable that you don't need to hand in or pick up even. Um, basically what you need to do is just kill random Skettis in the area. The birds won't drop it, the elementals won't drop them and the trees won't drop it. It's only the bird men things, the Skettis mobs. So once you collect enough dust, head back and you'll get the elixir of shadows. Now what this allows you to do is see mobs you couldn't see before. And this is really important because the mobs you couldn't see drop an item called the Time Lost Scrolls. And you need 40 Time Lost Scrolls to summon 4 mini bosses, 10 per, per mini boss. I'll go into that a little bit later on, but the Time Lost Skettises are like kind of shadow form mobs. I generally find more on the platforms above, but you'll find them pretty much anywhere. It's up to you where you want to go grinding for them. Now all the Skettis mobs will give you reputation up to Exalted, it's 10 rep per kill. You could grind these all the way to Exalted if you wish, but I wouldn't recommend it, it'd take you a while. So click, make sure you're killing these mobs and collecting your scrolls, and you want to keep doing this until the Elixir's buff runs out. But before it runs out, either when you first use it or at the near the end, you need to do something on the very first time, and this is to get a, an item from a mob. Now we need to kill a mob called the Talon Priest Ishal. He's only visible when you've got the elixirs buff on, that's why we need to kill him when you've got it on. And he'll drop a quest item. It's a, a bit of a pain in the, the backside quest chain, you've got to do a bit of flying around, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Great hero stuff when you're just being someone's Joa. But yeah, fly backwards and forwards a few times, you've got to go to Shatterath, then back here, then to somewhere else and pick someone's luggage up and it's fun. But once you do that, you'll be able to pick up another quest from the Skettis in the Cage, which will allow you to get an item from the four mini bosses. Now once you get all four items, you will be able to summon the main mini boss. Now each mini boss gives you 100 rep and the main boss gives you 500 rep. That's why it's worth summoning him, because 500 rep in one go is awesome. So this is the guy, the guy in the cage, he's just to the left of Severin. And all he'll ask you to do is kill the mini bosses, bring back their items, and you'll be able to summon the main guy. So once you've got your 40 time lost scrolls, head to these purple rune circles with skulls in the middle. Click on it and pick which mini boss you want to summon. Make sure you summon a different mini boss each time, otherwise you'll end up with the same item. Each mini boss drops its own item. Kill them, they're not exactly anything to be scared of, except for his face. That's about it. Kill it, make sure you loot all the items, and then you'll also get a nice BOE blue. The BOE blues could be sold if you're on a, a server where they'd sell well, I guess, but I don't bother because I've got really bad bag space because I'm a hoarder. So once you kill all four mini bosses, I'm not going to show you them all, I'm just going to show you a couple. Now there's more than four rune circles, and they have a bit of a cooldown once you use one. So once you've used one, you'll have to go to another one, and repeat that until you've got all four items. It doesn't matter which rune circle you use, as long as it's not the one in the centre of the little island, because that one's only for the main mini boss. So once you've got all four items, head back to the base, talk to the guy in the cage, and you'll get the urn. Now the urn thing will allow you to summon the main guy in the middle, and you'll be able to summon him every 20 minutes. Now the mini bosses are repeatable for 100 rep, and the main boss is repeatable for 500 rep. As I said, he does have a cooldown of 
um, 20 minutes and you do need to recollect the items each time you want to summon him. So you have to go collect 4 items, turn them in, summon him, kill him, collect 4 items, summon him, kill him, etc, etc. You'll also have to keep getting the Shadow Dust and getting the Time Lost Scrolls. But it's worth it because you'll end up with some cool stuff. Now this guy does drop a Time Lost figurine on rare chance. And what it'll do is turn you into one of the Skettis bird mobs. It looks pretty cool. It is a low drop chance, but you can keep farming him for it. And that's pretty much it. Just keep at it and you'll eventually get exalted. It is a bit of a long rep guide, but I think it's definitely worth it. The mounts are nice. The item's nice if you can get it. And that's pretty much it. The mounts are roughly, I think, 200g without perks. So it's not too bad. And that's five mounts in total. So I hope you've enjoyed this guide and good luck getting your neveries. See ya!